Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Young and the Restless Mini Spotlight. I am your host, James Law Jr. And this episode, we're talking about the seven things I like about Young and the Restless right now. Jack and Gloria, the mistake. I couldn't stop laughing when they were drinking and having to do the shots. And when they woke up in bed together, even I didn't see that coming. I was just like, wow, where did that come from? Very inspired, goes through his history with his ex-stepmothers. <laughs> um, they actually had some chemistry, a little bit of chemistry, I think. It was kind of funny uh, when they were talking and stuff. I'm like, these two kind of outcasts that are kind of wanting certain things. Who knows? But anyway, as we can see the twists and turns happening with that, I'm really curious to see what continues with that storyline. Um, but that was kind of fun. There was something unexpected. I, great, I love when a soap can totally do something unexpected because you know we've been watching shows for years a lot of things are um over and over again but that was nice so ravi actually i know he some people are not too crazy about him i like him i think i think he's the guy is a great actor who plays him i like to see what happens with him and ashley we very interesting just he's has a different look um this whole tech thing I mean, I think it could work, actually. I'm really curious to see, again, a different type of character to break up all the other kinds of characters that we have going on out there. So I, I, I'm excited to see what happens with him. I also like Billy, Phyllis, and Victoria. Who knew they would put Billy and Victoria back in the same orbit? I think it has the brewings of a great triangle because there is some lingering stuff, I think, with Billy and Victoria. Jason Thompson has chemistry with both her and with Gina Tognoni, who plays Phyllis. That kiss last week at the end on the elevator was really telling. We just grabbed her and kissed her in the elevator. So that's still happening because I know many fans like myself love Billy and Victoria together. I mean, Billy and um, and uh, Phyllis together. So I know their fans like Billy and Victoria together. So I think it should be really interesting with Reed now being a teenager and Billy and Reed kind of getting along. So it should be interesting. This, this could be making it a great triangle. The whole Mariah and Hillary. I'm liking, I'm hoping actually they become kind of frenemies. Like they start to respect each other and because they're both very different. Um, but somehow they come together and find some common ground. Much more exciting. I don't need to be best friends, but just like I said, frenemies, where they kind of still have an edge to each other. Um, there's been some rumblings, I don't know if it's true or not, that Mariah and Devon may develop something. I don't know. I don't know if I want that to happen or not. But I'm fascinated about those two. The two actors have great chemistry, and I'm really curious to see this whole GC buzz thing. So I, I want to see that. And Devon, the businessman. I'm liking that. I'm liking that he is being a full-on businessman and really working hard to make a name for himself. And I'm, I'm liking this new thing for Brighton James. This is good. Jill and Lauren, the Fenmore girls... Um, any, anything with more Jill, more Jess Walton makes me happy. Anything with more Tracy Bregman makes me happy. Um, they both are kind of right about each other. Jill has been busy with other things, but she is half of Fenmore's and is kind of a sore spot for her because she felt like she was lied to all those years about who her father was. So there's, I mean, Jill, of course, would barrel through and start demanding things. Of course she would do that. I mean, it's just, that's what she would do. Um, and, but Lauren was a little too lackadaisical about it herself, too, so I kind of like the conflict where Jill's a little bit wrong, Lauren's a little bit wrong, Jill's a little bit right, Lauren's a little bit right. You know, I think it's, it's great. It's just the two sisters thing. I like it. More more veterans, the better. And the last thing I really like about uh, White right now is the sets. They obviously have great production value on Young and the Rest. That's why they're number one. Uh, through the roof. I like the GC Buzz set. I like the Brash and Sassy set. I'm just like, I'm liking some of the sets because some of those are really brighter, I always found Young Rustles to be a little darker in their, in their sets. So lots of wood and lots of this stuff. So I'm liking that they're a little more brighter. And, and I'm kind of liking that. So um, those are the seven things that I like about Young Rustles right now. You can count the latest seven. Uh, you can follow us on uh, Facebook at The Restless Wrap-Up. We actually have a 
show every week called Restless Wrap Up on AfterBuzzTV.com. You can go to YouTube or iTunes, you can listen to it and download it or watch it. We just had the relaunch uh, last week on February 5th with me and Abby Scott and Brandon Larkins. It's a great, we have a great time talking about Young and the Restless. We love the show. And so go there and you can follow me, James Lott Jr. at James Lott Jr. everywhere on the internet. Bye.